Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm back with another video today. And I one that is very, very unpredictable or un unplanned again. I'm just reacting to something that I've seen. And to be honest with you, listen, you can see you can see from the title. Before I even get into this year, I don't even give a shit about this guy. Like, ah, uh, I kind of regret. Actually, not regret. I don't regret doing a video on him at all, actually. Because I was I was about to say, oh, I regret doing videos on him, car. It means that when there's updates, I have to do follow-up videos just because it's, it's, it's only right. Like, if I've, if I've spoken about something, I might as well follow up on it. But at the end of the day, yeah, the reason why I actually wanted, originally spoke about Stephen Bear, yeah, I need to remind myself, is because he was being accused of revenge porn. Now, if you lot remember the video I did a couple weeks ago, a lot at the end of last year, Stephen Bear was accused by his ex, George Harrison, for revenge porn. If you don't know the story, long story short, he released a sex tape with him and, and, his, and his girl, which turned out to be Georgia, from like a CCTV angle, and released it on his OnlyFans and made money off it. I've been doing a couple follow-up videos on it. He then started making, he started making comments about suicide, started mocking suicide, and then he says that he's depressed, and then he says, then he then he then says, ah, oh, I attempted suicide. But then in the same message that he's like talking about his suicide attempt or whatever, he's he's promoting like a brand. I think I can't remember what it is, but is it is it like a oh, I can't remember what company it was, but at the end he was like, oh yeah, if you want to know like my side of the story or whatever it was, like you should check out this app. And I'm thinking, huh? What kind of suicide message is that? Or what kind of like He's like, oh yeah, I had my, I was suicidal. Then all of a sudden, I went to therapy for a week, and then I'm cured. Big man, that's not how this works. No one can, no one can be cured of their demons. No one can go through, no one can go from mocking suicide to attempting suicide to then being cured from your from your mental illness in a week. It doesn't. That's not how it works. So. I was kind of being generous, I was kind of being empathetic towards you in my last videos. Even though I was saying, you, I don't give a shit about you, you're a dickhead and that. I was kind of like, you know what? You should take people like this seriously, you're a joke, man. I don't think you're, I don't, I don't think, I don't take you seriously at all. And that as time's gone on and, and at hindsight, as the dust has settled, I was, I was right to think wrongly of you. Now, it, it seems, yeah, that he's been arrested since he's come back from Dubai. So this guy, yeah, literally, He's been talking in Dubai, mocking people for being abroad, like he's stuck in lockdown. My man's been abroad over there, like enjoying living it up, mocking us for being in lockdown. As soon as he lands, my man gets arrested. And you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna touch on this. I ain't gonna talk about this Stephen Bear no more, as in in this video, really. I really wanna talk about Georgia. I'm happy she did this. Hey, Georgia Harrison, yeah, big up you, big up your team, because. There's not enough women in this world, or sorry, not enough women, um, not enough men in this world being held accountable for their actions. If it, if it's true, I ain't seen the video in it. I ain't, I don't subscribe to Stephen Bear's OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen the video. But if it's true, yeah, that she truly is the one in the video, and she says she is, well, I don't know, she wouldn't admit that if she ain't. If she truly is the girl in the video, and you release that without her knowing to make money on your OnlyFans, you're done out here, bro. I mean, you've been done out here anyway, but like. It's mad, you know, because I, I, I didn't even know who you, like, I barely even knew who you were before I, um, I made a video on him last last year. And now I'm just saying his name Bear, like, what? Well, I'm Bear saying this guy's name Bear, like, <laughs> Stephen Bear, shut up, God's sake. Anyway, um, as I said, I'm really happy she's taking it there. I'm really happy she's actually, um, what's it called? Reached out to the authorities and that. Because men, uh, well, men or anyone really, but mainly men, but anyone shouldn't be getting away with, with that. You know, that's really traumatizing for someone like her. Now, again, I, I I'm not like a fan of hers. I don't know anything about the girl apart from when she was on Love Island. That's it. I, I just, I literally just like to see when people are held accountable for their actions. He's now been arrested on landing. So that must, that must, that's, that means yeah, she's really been with the authorities and telling them what I go on and X, Y, Z. They've been waiting for man. He's been on obo. He's been on observation for real, for real. They've been watching him. Like the like he caught an M charge. They arrested him at the airport. Anyway, let me read let me read a, a short bit from an article. Former celebrity Big Brother contestant Stephen Bear 31 was arrested at Heathrow on Friday morning by three plain clothed police officers. Undies! He had the undies on him. Was taken into custody for uh, custody for allegedly filming himself having sex. Big hey, Georgia, big up your ting, man. Big up your ting. Well done for getting the authorities involved. Yeah, so an eyewitness said he got handcuffed when he arrived from Dubai, where he's been living the past six weeks. 
So during that time, yeah, he mocked suicide, mocked people in lockdown, then said he was suicidal, then said he actually attempted suicide, then said he was clear, all in the matter of in a weeks. Joking. Anyway, the article then goes on to say, she, as in Georgia, believes Stephen showed the recording to at least two friends and claims the, rec uh, the footage was being widely shared on WhatsApp. Oh yeah, so she accuses him as well of sharing screenshots of the video to followers on OnlyFans. But Stephen denied it was her in the video. But the thing is, she's gonna know if it's her though, innit? Surely. The eyewitness said he was mumbling under his breath and he clearly was not happy. <laughs> Listen, it's what you get, bro. This is actually what you get, man. This is actually what you get. Revenge porn is a no-go. Sending, uh, uh, sending someone else's, your ex's nudes, no-go. Like, anyone that does that, even, bro, even man that show other man nudes, like, of, like, people you're dating, seeing, whatever, like, it's rock. You're, you're weird, like. You little bookie, I'm sorry, that's weird to me. So, anyway, all of that is weird, but I just want to give you an update on this guy. This guy's done out here. I don't really want to be doing videos on this guy no more, but I just want to give you an update. This this guy's actually been arrested now, so whether he gets charged with it or not remains to be seen. But anyway, but this guy, and I'll see you lot in the next video. Oh yeah, oh wait, I didn't even say it, but yeah, thank you for watching. Like, by the way, please, please like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell so we're notified, and see you soon.